Christopher DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, and I'm here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors, man. Salute to everybody that's rocking with me. Appreciate y'all for pulling up. Drop in the comment section ASAP and let me know if you pulled up. Now, first things first, y'all know, hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm. Come join our private investment community, private stock market game here on Facebook. I'm doing my free 99 plays. I got uh, one of our members in here just made his first six figures in crypto investing. Shout out to bro. Also, one of my members just uh, made her first uh, $45,000 off of one play. So, you know, come tap in with this group, man. You do, you know, you don't want to miss what we got going on in here. I know a few of y'all are already in the waiting room, but, you know, just be patient. Y'all will be let in soon. It's a first come, first serve basis. So I'm getting the ones that were in before y'all in, and I'll get y'all in right away. So uh, I need y'all to come find this post from Ty Lopez. His name is T-A-I Lopez. Come find him. He said, who's the best crypto mentor slash expert in the game? I need y'all to go find this post. He posted this on his Facebook page uh, October 30th at 7.02. That's the timestamp. You can find the post as well as on Twitter. I need y'all to let them know y'all rocking with me, man. Let them know who, you know, saying who's bringing y'all this information every day. I got a special gift for everybody that does that. If you've already done it, you know, send me a screenshot with proof via email. If you've already done that, stay tuned. I'm going to have something for y'all. But you have to be listening to these videos so that way y'all can get y'all a gift. So uh, shout out to everybody reaching out to the channel. Appreciate y'all. So uh, come follow me on Twitter at December DeMarco. Same way the channel is spelled, as well as on Instagram. Just in case anything happens with one of my platforms, y'all will be able to find me. Now, I got to do a quick, quick uh, announcement. Y'all might see me post a video earlier. I seen a lot of people panic. All that was was an option. So a lot of y'all, I told y'all early on in the beginning that, you know, this is maybe some of the newer people that joined the channel. I know the OGs to the channel that already rock with me. I know none of y'all are panicking. Y'all know this already. But. I trade stocks as well, stock options. So that's what I taught my students inside my private investment community over one year before I even made this channel. So I was teaching my students over a year how to trade stocks and options before we even got on a crypto wave. You know, before I started teaching them that because I wanted to, you know, bring them into it, you know, each, you know, basically each subject by each subject. So some of y'all are new to the channel. Y'all got to understand. So if you go back to my earlier videos, you will see. You know, some of my earlier videos are about trading options. So, you know, it's not no scammy stuff or nothing like that. You know, uh, I'm just showing y'all I'm introducing it to the channel. So that way, when we start to talk about it again, y'all are familiar with what I was talking about. But don't worry. It's not anything uh, scammy. It's just it's called stock options. I know a lot of y'all aren't familiar with that. And the reason is why, because they they don't teach us this type of information. You know, when you learn financial literacy, you learn a lot more ways to make money. You know, there's crypto, there's stocks, there's options, there's commodities, there's Forex. You know, there's real estate, you know, there's businesses, you can invest in all types of different things. And I just want y'all to be more, you know, better informed investors. So that's why I'm showing y'all different things. And also, I felt it would be <clears throat> pretty cool because I trade options, you know, almost every morning, you know, at least a few times a week. So I wanted to show y'all, you know, what I actually do in the mornings before I actually drop videos. So this is why sometimes I don't drop a video right away. And I thought it would be cool to show y'all that. You know, and this is uh, just a result of my technical analysis. That's how I'm able to make, you know, three hundred dollars in, you know, a few minutes, you know, because I'm able to identify, you know, areas in a chart that are key buying areas where, you know, I don't have to stay in a trade for too long and I can make money. So that's what I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to show you all that I really do this and show you all an example of, you know, the profits from, you know, just uh, a quick options trade from this morning. I just it's new it's something new i don't know i might uh you know continue to do it i might not i don't know but uh also i need y'all everybody that's rocking with me i need y'all to go you know come to this post on twitter shatoshi kasuma has asked it said shatoshi kasuma says looking for an executive recruiter dm me sheep army now y'all know there's nobody better suited to be the face of an executive recruiter for the sheep army than me i'm telling you you know because think about it we're going to have a lot of, you know, celebrities, a lot of, you know, big, uh, big name people who want to, uh, you know, potentially invest. And, you know, those people, trust me, I'm already mingling with, you know, a few celebrities and I could just, you know, I could just say that I would be the best fit. And I'm sure y'all would agree with me. So I would appreciate if y'all, you know, show me y'all appreciation by coming to this post and letting Shatoshi, you know, retweeting it. Uh, you know, I need y'all to really, you know, hit Shatoshi up every single day on every single post. You know, until we make this happen, you know what I'm saying? Because who else would be better suited than me? I'm really teaching, you know, y'all how to be better informed investors. I teach, you know, I teach y'all news as well. You know, I report news, but I also teach y'all, you know, 
how to not get wrecked. And that's very important to have, you know, somebody who can, you know, basically uh, be a, a safety blanket for the community. So that way you're not, you're not just uh, FOMOing into, you know, uh, the high areas or, you know, new investors don't just come, you know, and get wrecked because that's going to turn people off to the project and make them, you know, have a uh, just leave a bad taste in their mouth. So that's why I'm trying to educate everyone. So that way you all can, you know, have the information, you know, to make the best decisions. So uh, come find this post, retweet it, like it, uh, you know, and hit up Shatoshi every single day until we get this done. man. I would appreciate that for real. If y'all really rocking with me, when y'all go hard for me, that makes me want to go harder for y'all. So uh, I'll take a look at this chart real quick. So we are holding a support right at the demand zone. Y'all know I like to leave my charts up so y'all can see the uh, areas that, you know, I called and that I really do this for real. You know, and um, just so y'all can follow along as well and be able to, uh, you know, find these areas on y'all charts. So we on a four hour right now. So remember, I called this area as a demand zone. You notice something? What do y'all see right here? Tell me what y'all see about this demand zone. What happened in here? I'm going to give y'all a second to drop that in the comment section. So you should have dropped by now. The price fell into the demand zone and it held within this range perfectly. It held, it held within this range perfectly. But what happened? Well, th this was, you know, pretty much to me, this looked at, uh, you know, this was fake. You know, it was a lot of, you know, they held the price in here, you know, because of all that uh, FUD that was going on with the, you know, circulation supply being increased on Coinbase. You know, a lot of people uh, panicking. Also, uh. I got a, a disclaimer as well. The Robin Hood or Tesla uh, potential accepting sheep or Robin Hood listing sheep today. I told y'all in my video yesterday, I said it's rumored. Y'all got to listen. You know what I'm saying? Because not, not everybody, but the one who tagged me on Twitter saying, you know, that, you know, I said it was happening today. I clearly said, and if anybody wants to fact check, just go back to my last video, you know, two videos before this. I said it's rumored. And I said, this might be just one of those buy the rumor, sell the news situations. And I said that I didn't look too much into it, but I wanted to mention it just in case because I seen, you know, when I got onto YouTube, I seen, you know, other titles saying, you know, Tesla would be accepting sheep or Robin Hood would be listing sheep. So, you know, I just want to, you know, just put it out there. That's why I said this might be one of those buy the rumor, sell the news situations. I'm just presenting the information to you. I did not confirm, though. But, uh. Right here, the price fell in here. A lot of people, you know, we sold off into this area, held support here. And then uh, you see people loaded up right here. People loaded up. We broke out of this demand zone. Now we're holding it as a support because, remember, our previous resistance area, we were having trouble breaking out of here. We were seeing resistance right here at the 60, that 69 level almost. If at the 69 level and now we broke through. Now that we broke through it, you know, we have in our correction and our, as we correct or retrace, we we trace right along that uh, previous resistance line for a new support. So uh, it's still a little early. I want to give it some more uh, time, you know, to see if we get some more price action, because sometimes, you know, you're not always going to be able to just come in and, you know, we could try to make something out of it, but. I like to do this live and, and let y'all see, you know, exactly the decisions um, that's, you know, the processing that's going through my mind with it. And I try not to overwhelm y'all, but, you know, I try to do it in an easy to digest way so y'all can just basically do this on your own with different projects as well or with she. So uh, what I want to, you know, I'm waiting for something. We're trading sideways right here. We got our dojis forming. We Volume is uh, falling off. Our MACD looks like it wants to eventually cross. Shout out to everybody reaching out to the channel. Appreciate y'all. I will tap in with y'all. Uh, as soon as this video is over but it looks like the macd wants to cross once this uh macd flips over here once these green candles start flipping up here that's usually a sign that uh you know the that buyers are coming in that you know the trend is 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 moving in a different direction so that now we can see uh where impulse correction our next movement should likely be a impulse which is you know bullish movement but that's not you know guaranteed to happen you know we're going to still need more volume the volume is very low right here uh, we need volume and we need buyers to come in and, and, you know, hold this line and push and push the sellers back even more. We want to break this uh, resistance area here of 77. Right around that 77 range right here. So that way we can have this area as a new support or as our support. And then we can retest our old uh, or just our previous all time high. So I still have my price target. 
my short price target is still at the same area, that 88, 89 range. Second target is still at that 93 to uh, for the all-time high. So we have to we'll, we might see some trouble right here in the 88 range, trouble in the 94 range. And by trouble, I just mean like you know we got to see you know a lot of uh, sellers might start taking profit at that area. That's all I mean basically. So we'll need a lot more buyers to push you know to to buy everything up and push the sellers back at that point. So that's all I mean by trouble. But uh, new all-time high price target is around 1109, just about. Maybe just a little bit higher. Let me see. Yeah, it might it might just be that one one. Yeah, it's just about that one one oh nine range. So that's where I'm estimating it to go to. So uh Eventually, with us trading sideways, this this means that, you know, uh, the buyers and sellers are basically indecisive of which way they want the price to move. But we're still in a bullish trend, so I believe that we will eventually just, you know, push those. With, those sellers will get exhausted at this point, and the buyers will, you know, be able to push them off the line, and the price action will continue to move forward. So uh, that's all we got for this. I'll do uh, a, a news update after this with all the news that's going on. So make sure y'all uh, share this video with somebody that you care about so that way they can become a better informed investor. Also, I still have some seats left for the uh, floor price of my technical analysis course. If you want to learn how to interpret the data on these charts so you can be a better informed investor, then I highly encourage you to reach out to me. If you have more than $1,000 invested into crypto and you don't understand what any of this means on this chart, you this looks like, you know, hieroglyphs to you then you need to be reaching out to me asap so uh only if you're ready to get the course you know i'm very very busy i have a lot of people to you know reach out to or respond to so uh you know let me know when you're ready and i got you that's all we got for this video appreciate y'all again for pulling up make sure you share it drop a comment drop hashtag shout me out in this video and i'll be uh adding the people from this video as well as the last video until the next one we out